Hello again, this is Russ with Health Forward Online, and today I'm back at the Granite Bay Holistic Health Center, and I'm getting a blood cell analysis done. Um, I'm here with, what's your name? John Leinert. And what's the company you work for? In Harmony Health. Harmony Health, okay. And so this, this is basically a nutritional screening test that we do with, the, with a single drop of blood. Okay, they pricked my finger here. It didn't hurt. <laughs> didn't hurt, and uh, from this single drop of blood, we can determine how well proteins, carbohydrates, fats are being digested in the blood. Okay. We can also see things such as various levels of toxemia from major organs manifest themselves in deformed red blood cells. We can also see the level of parasitic and bacterial activity in the blood, and um, we can see other things in the plasma such as yeast and sugar crystals oh, okay. and fungal forms that uh, are related to undigested, pro uh, undigested carbohydrates, Okay. and um, we can see evidence of undigested proteins and undigested fats, which all manifest themselves in various ways in the blood. Okay. So a lot of this is done, obviously, to as a preventative, people let people know where they stand and, and then um, talk about uh, another step would be how to correct some of these things. Correct. Yeah. Yes. A lot of this has to do with diet, which is why it's a nutritional screening tool. Um, a lot of it has to do with just whether we're getting enough hydration, and a lot of it has to do with supplemental needs depending upon the age of the person and the overall condition of their blood. Uh, with a number of related factors that we can see in the blood. Okay. So pretty much everybody can benefit from getting this done, obviously. Every, we all have blood. Um, I haven't seen anyone yet that didn't have at least one recommendation for it. Yeah. Something as simple as you're not drinking enough water. If somebody's under a certain, um, maybe being treated for cancer or doing any kind of treatment, would, would this not be something good to do for them? Would it maybe skew the, the view of the blood or... At any point, anybody's health condition, can you think of any? Yeah, this is not a medical diagnostic tool, uh -huh. um, for sure. Um, the focus of it is more from a nutritional screening perspective. Okay. Uh, to the extent the person has a diagnosed medical condition, they may find the information we're giving them somewhat useful because a lot of, a lot of medical conditions um, uh, oftentimes are a function of poor diet and for yeah. uh, poorly taking care of themselves with uh, not just nutrition, but the, the water they drink or the lack thereof or the type of fluids they ingest into their body. So yeah. um, this, this really kind of gets back to the fundamentals of what are you putting in your body, okay. how often, and how good is it. Okay. You. So we took uh, a sample of my blood, and here we, we look. I don't know how good this is going to show up, but we're going to look at something here interesting. Um, Would you like me to move through this? Uh, sure. What are we looking at there? So this this structure, this should be ignored because this is just a bubble uh, in the oil solution that we put on okay. the slide to okay. protect the scope. But this is a form of plaque right here. And it's an interesting color. Uh, this is very likely to be a denatured fat as the source of the plaque. And we're going to move through several screens here and look for, initially, how well uh, the protein is being digested. And one of the things we look for here are these little balloon-type structures are an indication of protein linkage, where the cells stick together, and as they pull apart, they create this kind of balloon image. Oh. So that's the first indication that there probably is either a lack of hydration or there's some protein digestion issues, which could be a function of just too much protein. It also could be a, a lack of proper enzyme uh, supplementation. This is an interesting little cell right here in the middle of the screen. Interestingly enough, this is uh, what we call an echinocyte, which typically means dehydration, okay. which would be 
Uh, not something we would expect given the climbs you're on right now. Yeah. But it could also be a potassium imbalance, which that may make more sense with the climbs you're on. Right. I'm currently on a on lemon eight cleanse right now, so that's why we're bringing that up. And uh, basically means I I'm not eating any solids and drinking a lot of water, a lot of lemonade juice, homemade lemonade juice. So um, some of the results we see here may uh, be a reason that we're seeing them. Okay, so we got something else there. This is a uh, neutrophil white blood cell. Neutrophil white blood cell, and that's I guess it's dying off. No, it's very oh. active. Oh, very active. You can actually see it moving very actively, just pushed out in this direction. So that gets, um... This is a granulocyte, comes from the granulocyte family of white blood cells, which is why it looks all greeny. And the little grains are where the toxins are held to kill off the foreign invaders that it uh, ultimately gets a hold of. Okay. So that, that looks good. That's a normal looking white blood cell? Very healthy, very active, yes. That's good. Guys. Okay. All right, so we're just finishing up here, and um, if you want to get yours done, I'll put the information right down below, but uh, contact Dr. Joyner at this uh, holistic center here in Granite Bay, and hopefully you look into this uh, for yourself. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, what I wanted to do is show you now what, what the technician was doing as we were uh, going through the blood test. He was checking off on a sheet uh, everything that he was seeing. He was making notes, and he grades everything from a scale from like uh, 1 to 5. And, you know, 1 being good, 5 being bad or the worst. So here's the, uh, here's the sheet we were going over. Turn the light on here. And so he's just uh, going through and checking off things and making notes of what my blood looks like. The things that stuck out with mine are uh, the yeast. It's a grade 5, so, you know, pretty poor things that I need to do to help get rid of the yeast in my, uh, in my blood and in my body, in which I knew I had that, but this sort of verified it. A um, couple of fives here. Here's a, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this, poikilocytosis. Uh, that was a grade five. This has to do with free radicals, and uh, I need to really improve my diet to get more uh, antioxidants in me. Uh, ovulocytes. And that was a grade 3 to 4. And this uh, anisokytosis. Again, I'm slaughtering how to say this, but that was a grade 5. So these two things kind of together help determine that I have a B12 uh, deficiency, which I kind of knew because I, I don't eat red meat and, and haven't in several years. So I think I'm going to be, uh, I'll be looking at some ways to get that B12 into me. And then uh, what... What, what he does is he leaves me with a bunch of notes and recommendations on what I can do to, uh, to in, improve my situation. So there you go. Look for, if you're in Sacramento, I hope you check out Dr. Joyner's office in Granite Bay. If not, if you're in another city, another uh, part of the world, um, go to your local health food store, maybe ask around and, uh, and have this done. It, it really gives you some great information.